Good morning everybody, it's Kyle. It's, today is Friday, June 16th, I believe the 16th, 2023. Um, yeah, it's been a couple minutes since had a video, but uh, we'll get you up to speed on what's been happening around here. I don't recall if I showed you the finished product of the barn roof. Oh, I'll climb up here and then you can maybe see a little more. Oh, with uh, what they did with having to block up the strapping and whatever to make it all level, it looks looks really good there. So, yep, no more leaky roof at the barn, uh, and that's good. And as far as these feed bins go, I wanted to fill this one right here with like with the grain on the grain truck, but waiting on a belt for the pencil auger. That's the only thing that's been kind of holding me up for the week. 2090 PTO works. Just need to put in two pails of oil here. So, or a pail at least, maybe part of another one. We'll see. We'll also see how good JB Weld works for repairing truck beds because we poked a hole in it last week. So that was fun. Um, but I'm going to get this thing Linexed in a couple of weeks because when I got it, there was hardly a scratch in the bed and not that scratch on the inside of the bed matter it's just when you start poking holes and crap that's not exactly the best so get it lying next then it'll look all mint um, yeah so that's about that um, we're fencing up at sheldon's gravel pit pasture working on that a little bit here and there um, Paying is coming real fast. You know, we're like a couple weeks away and we still gotta get all the machinery pulled out and worked on and all that fun stuff. So, no shortage of things to do around here. And uh, yeah, so I guess we better, better get something done today. Dang. Oh, yes, I use this socket every day. My 5.5 millimeter socket. Heck yeah. And my 11 30 seconds socket, my 15 30 seconds. Yeah, those are, those are common sizes here on the old ranch. Purchased these clamp-on pallet forks at an auction last week and uh, yeah I'm gonna try them out got some corral slabs a whole lift of them basically like you know we we take a couple off to patch some here and patch some there over the last few years but you know by the time at the, at the rate we're using them they're all gonna be rotted one day so I'm okay not quite but to preserve them I'm going to put them in the loft of the barn now that the barn roof is fixed. So, yeah. out to the out back here with the half ton because there was a coyote getting really close to the yard man oh man very close but as soon as he seen me he put her in high gear and 
I couldn't put her in much high of a gear in the truck to catch the bugger. I'd love for that front bumper to meet his ass end and he would just be donezo. But, and nope. So you know how it goes, one thing leads to another and then I'm like, gee whiz, I could probably take the junk trailer out. So we'll go do that now. It's kind of a good odd job day today. There's always lots of odd jobs, you know. After this, there's some stones. I would love to go pick on a hay field. Um, twine needs cleaned up in the bale yards. That air seeder, we stole a wheel off of it for the bale wagon. Could put that back on. And then, you know, it's not sitting on blocks, risking falling off at any given second. That's kind of the theory with that. So here's a look at one of our hay fields up here at the North Farm. This is Grandma's Quarter. Looking pretty decent. Um, alfalfa is a good two and a half feet, I would say. Pesky bugger, you're the perfect size to get picked up on the cutter bar. I thought I was going to be done picking rocks and walking around, but then we find one more. Well, there we go. That's what about an hour and a half of picking up twines looks like at the pit here. Got most of them. Um, yeah. Yeah been trying to do it every year because usually it's like the day before we want to come cut hay here that we have to go and pick the twines first because otherwise it just gets wrapped around the baler pickup and it just makes a mess so yeah and then it doesn't get caught around your tractor axle in the winter time and whatever at least try, minimizes some of it and you know if you keep on top of it every year at least it should be good then it doesn't get out of hand like the outback just across the way but whatever so anyways um got some friends coming to visit this weekend so yep, we'll be hanging out the next couple days and might tack stuff onto this video might not we will have to see all i know is that it's about supper time so yep thanks for tuning in and uh, we will see you all in the next one. Oh God. Oh yeah, just just doing some doing some welding here, <laughs> buzzing beads all day. But the welding rod is white today. <laughs>